my god! PewDiePie is quitting YouTube! Have you heard about it from news media? <laughs> Good evening, I'm Papis Moria. PewDiePie has quit YouTube. The story is everywhere. YouTube megastar PewDiePie quits! PewDiePie reveals real reason he has quit YouTube. He has quit everyone. Did you know? Did you know PewDiePie has quit? Breaking PewDiePie quits YouTube! It, this is so sad. No more PewDiePie. Guess it's just gonna be me now. Papis Moria. PewDiePie! Bye! <laughs> World's biggest YouTube star PewDiePie quits! Saying he's feeling very tired. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, I especially like this CNN one because it's basically PewDiePie, who became one of YouTube's biggest stars before seeing his career dogged by allegations of racism and anti Semitism, will be away for a little while. PewDiePie is taking a break because of racism. <laughs> uh, man, I can't believe this got blown up. I am blown away! That it got blown up. You know, this is posted not just in you. May, if you're from, uh, I don't know, anywhere in Europe or whatever, the, this your local news might have reported on this as well, because it's just one of those stories that caught fire for whatever reason. I think first of all we should look at what I said, because I think the contrast is so funny. It was at the end of my last few news. Poppy Smoria, I reported on it. Taking break from YouTube. <laughs> Next year. I wanted to say it in advance because I made up my mind. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm feeling very tired. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Just so you know, early next year, I'll be away uh, for a little while. I'll explain that later, but I wanted to give head. That's it. That's all I said. Early next year, I'll be away for a little while. I never said I'm quitting. I said I'm taking a break. I find it so funny because the reason why I announced it at the end of a video and I hate the announcement of the announcement. It's so annoying, right? The reason why I did it because I didn't want to upplay it. I just wanted it to be... I didn't want to make a surprise for my audience as well and being like, All right, I'm quitting. Because that's what YouTubers would do if they go on a break. They would go like, I'm quitting. PewDiePie quits. You know, it's done before. I get it. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. And then out of all people, news media blows it up. <laughs> Why do I have more integrity than f***ing news media? This makes no sense. This is all wrong. This is all backwards. I think this is a common practice in media where, well, one person got it wrong, so we can all just get it wrong, right? <laughs> it's so dumb. Well, these, all these other news stories have reported the wrong news, so we can all report. I don't want to be all fake news, but it is fake. It is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't understand why no one reads this stuff because it's so... Oh, here we go. Disney, oh, N-Word, Christchurch, ADL. There we go. We hit them all. You just gotta get them all out there. In 20 years from now, I quit YouTube. And do you think people will post like, 20 years ago, we remember he said the N-Word. Do you guys remember that? No, I will not give my... Oh my god, this is so obnoxious. So many pop-ups. PewDiePie releases Game for Making Poo. Thank you for posting that. It's taken a break from the platform that launched him to fame. Wait, what? Did they change it? The vlogger. That's right. Yeah, I don't know why they referred to it as a vlog. Sorry, I had this low quality version of this because they changed uh, the title. He doesn't want to think about vlogging anymore. When did I say that? <laughs> they put it in quote, right? <laughs> what is that? Did they use those apostrophes to be like, oh no, it's not an actual quote. It's just, uh, it, we just make it look like it's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? Look, if you look closely, we're not actually quoting him. We're just putting apostrophe. It's your stinky fault. I'm not a vlogger. I'm not even a vlogger. How do you get it so wrong? To be fair, they did change it because I deactivated my Twitter so that now they can put quit Twitter. <laughs> because of this, I got a lot of boomers who don't know who I am and they just read that I made 25 million uh, and they're like, oh, my job is so hard. I don't make 25 million. How dare he take a break? How could he take a break? My job harder and I make less money. I feel like I have to explain why I'm taking a break now just because this is just gonna become weirder. Oh wait, there was another sentiment I read uh, that was really funny. Oh, here we go, here. Broke the news to heartbroken fans in the latest Pew News video. No one of my fans were heartbroken. 
they knew that I was going to take a break anyway, and that's why I wanted to make clear that I'm, I decided that I'm going to do it. And the reason why no one of my fans are heartbroken is because they understand that it's normal to just take a break. I didn't see anyone say, oh my god, this is so sad. They already knew about it. It's so, like, why are you making that up? All right, this is addressed to all the boomers. I've been uploading YouTube videos every single day for 10 years. Uh, YouTube is the kind of job that isn't very stable. They're always changing legislation and, and rules and policies and blah, blah, blah. And it's such a new thing that any day it, it could be over for anyone. And, and that has been the process for a lot of YouTubers in the past. So since I'm giving this opportunity to be a YouTuber, I decided I'm going to make the most out of it no matter what. And I've done that. And uh, so I think a lot of my success comes from the fact that I am so consistent with on this platform. I don't pre-record videos because I think that loses its touch and a lot of things like that. God damn, this sounds so preachy. It's th the point is I thought YouTube would be over by now for me. Uh, I thought I would last like two years or something like that. But here I am. I don't want to look at myself another 10 years in the future and I've done the exact same thing as I've done now, even though I really enjoy and love what I do. Um, I, I don't want to look back on my life 20 years later and be like, oh, cool. So I just did YouTube videos and I never, ever did anything else. It just seems kind of sad to me. <laughs> Another reason, I think it's important for anyone to take a break. Uh, no matter what job you have, it, I think that's important. And uh, so much has happened this year that I uh, has just been building up and up and up and up. And I never, uh, I never taken a break before. I don't know what it feels like to not worry about uploading a video. Even when I am away on, on certain things, I'm still uploading during that time. So I'm just still monitoring the video. I'm still making sure everything is, is good and micromanaging. And I've never just had a full stop. So I just want to know what that feels like. That's it. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but now I felt like I was forced to explain it. Plus, it will be some, uh, sometime early next year. We even kept the honeymoon five days. Like, even things like that as, as a minimum. And that's just kind of sad, and I think it's gotten to a point where, uh, okay, it's cool, I love YouTube, but if I want to keep it going, I kind of want to change a couple things and be able to uh, not be so strict with it. It's like if you're an entrepreneur, you put your heart and soul and and you work your ass off to make this project work that you have right but then once you made it you kind of simmer down and you let it uh let other people take in control or you might sell the company or whatever you do but for me uh the project is myself i'm the, still i can't sell myself i can't let someone else step in so it's it's so i'm 100 solely dependable if how this channel is doing so it's hard to just slack off do you understand does that make sense cool I don't, I didn't make the whole thing to be boohoo me, oh, it's so hard, I want a break. That's not it at all. Just want to be clear on that. I understand there's jobs that are way tougher than mine. Uh, I'm very happy to be in this situation. I'm not trying to, I don't want people's sympathy. I never asked for it. Next news. Another story that interested me was the fact that Tana Mongo, yes, YouTube Streamy Awards. YouTube put their actual logo on this shit? Really? Okay, here are the nominees for Creator of the Year. Creator of the Year. Why does their overlay look like the H3H3 podcast? <laughs> it's, I confused Collins so much. Key. Oh my god, Colin! David Oh Dilbert. my god, da, 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 da. Emma Chamberlain. Oh <laughs> Lily Singh. Lily Singh, who left the platform. She's nominated for creator of the year. No, she doesn't leave the platform for traditional media as well. That's hilarious. There's such a gap now in, on YouTube between creators and the ones that are so desperate to be validated by, by mainstream media. Lauren Gray. I don't even know who Mr. that is. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast! Ninja. Ninja? Okay. Sophia Nygaard. I don't know. Marcia watches her. Epic. A kid's channel. And Tana Mojo. Tana Mongo! Well, obviously, Mr. Beast is going to win it. I mean, he had such an amazing impact this year. His growth has been insane. He's like the one channel that doesn't have uh, any big controversy. He's done good on this, on the platform. Uh, what he's done, so many other YouTubers try and replicate. It's obvious. Some of the other animations, they're good, okay? But it's obvious Mr. Beast is gonna win it. Wait, did you see the name or that's who you think it is? It is not David Dobrik. 
I'm sorry, David, but you've won like every award tonight. It's only fair, Tana. Oh my God, I'm so shocked. How did I win this? <laughs> really nice of Tana to come out in her pajama. <laughs> she still made it to the show. It's so cringe to rip on Tana. Like, yeah, she's insufferable. I don't want to make a whole deal out of it. And I stood right here a year ago and I literally held Shane Dawson's award. And the first thing I said to all of you people was like, I will never be creator of the year. Um, <laughs> I just, I <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they filmed on Goss Johnson's reaction. Yes. Guys, when Tana said, I don't deserve this, we all felt that. Here's to all the people who don't feel like creator of the year. Bye! She's so humble. She doesn't feel like creator of the year. She's so down to earth. She's just like us. No, you literally don't deserve it. That's why you feel like that. <laughs> I'm not actually mad about this because everyone knows award shows are just fake anyway. It's all politics. It's all based on who is there. They want to be show that they're giving away awards to people instead of just having people show up in videos or uh, not accepting the award at all. So the people that play into the whole award show thing are the people that get the award. I, I've literally gotten award shows writing to me saying, hey, we want to give you this award, but you have to come there to get it. And it's like, no, I don't want it then. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. I literally don't even keep my awards that I have actually gone because I don't feel proud of them. I think it's it doesn't mean anything. But I think the, the main reason, uh, you know, it's fine that it is that way, but it is also kind of sad because uh, I think it could be cool to actually have it as a way to actually celebrate the people that did something amazing this year. Just like Rewind could be something like that, right? A celebration of what people accomplished or made a mark or made an impact. I think that's what it... That's literally it. It doesn't have to be more than that. Oh yeah, and this was fan voted as well. So it's it's not about who made the most impact. It's who can get the their audience to vote the most amount of times, right? Who can get their audience to <laughs> give you this award, basically? And if that was genuine as well, like if no one, if the if it was just a poll and no one's told anyone to go there specifically, but if you tell your audience over and over to go and vote for you, then yeah, doesn't that kind of feed the purpose? I'm sure if Mr. Beast campaigned to win, he would win. But what kind of award is that to accept? And it's so funny to me how he makes the whole thing like, I don't deserve this. I don't understand. As if the award was actually chosen to her. I hate Tana mainly because she promotes drugs to her 14 year old audience. I don't know how old they are, but. Cause like weed's legal there. Okay. I take Adderall all the time. You guys know that. I'm so high right now. And I'm not even on Adderall. That was so like, I'll take like a fourth of a 20 milligram pill, like five milligrams of Adderall. In the blood, in the blood. I wasn't gonna smoke weed today and then I showed up to Hunter's house. In my bag, everywhere I go, I always have a pill bottle filled with Adderall. Days like this, I really love my life. Can you imagine having a real job? I can't. <laughs> no, not with Xana. Fucking Mojo driving. Xana. <laughs> I just got as high as I possibly could, but that's an awful lot of Adderall. And I see in there that you have a few other pills. And I was like, yeah, those are pain pills. A lot of you guys, for some reason, have been bringing me marijuana. That's creator of the year. Uh, I don't mean to bring up a bunch of old stuff. I don't want to do the whole media meme, but I genuinely haven't followed what she's doing. I know she had that MTV show. Did I get canceled? Jake Paul and Tana's MTV show was canceled after announcement three days ago. All right, that's all the news for this Pew News. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and also guys, I have an announcement. Next year, I'm taking a break from Snapchat. I know. And my LinkedIn profile, I'm thinking about taking a break from that as well. Hopefully, news media will not get the story right this time, but I think I'm very tired, and I think it's time for me to take a break. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Behold! For too long you have been farting in the darkness. Now, you are entering a new era where you shall craft thy own poop. The hour of fart spells and poop grades is coming. Marzia, Edgar, and Butt Elves need your help.
The time where you will face butt crawlers is almost at hand. When you are seated on the porcelain throne, poop tea is the game to play. I'm not supposed to have my opinion about that, but the prize is... 